What's up everybody? It's your girl Megan, show fitness instructor, and today I'm going to do a quick breakdown of the OBT model and provide you with some quick tips in order to help you memorize its acute variables faster. Now, if it is your first time tuning in, I am our in-person instructor here in La Jolla, California, as well as our online instructor for our past NASM and ACE CPT course. Thanks to the help of our study guide and weekly Zoom calls, we've been able to help over 3,100 people pass this thing, and we can help you too. So if your goal is to pass the NASM or ACE CPT or any other CPT as fast as possible, make sure that you continue watching this video, subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on all the other videos that I have provided for you. All right, let's get to it. OPT model. There's going to be five phases that we're looking at here. Phase one, stabilization. Phase two, strength endurance. Phase three, muscular development. Phase four, maximal strength. And phase five, power. Within those phases, there's going to be different acute variables that we're looking at. What are acute variables? It's going to be the sets, reps, rest, tempo, and intensity. And just in case you are taking that NASM CPT, a question you may see is, what is the most fundamental component when designing a program? And that's gonna be your acute variables. So looking at this first off, we're gonna look at sets. Now for the most part, these tricks or tips that I'm helping with are gonna be consistent. Phase two and five are supersets, so they may be a little bit different, but overall it's gonna be pretty similar. So when we're looking at sets, it's always gonna start with the number. So phase one starts with the one, phase two starts with the two, phase three, starts with three, phase four, starts with four, and then phase five, just a little bit different, it ends with a five. So sets, phase one, one to three sets, phase two, two to four sets, phase three, three to six sets, phase four, four to six sets, and phase five, three to five sets. Next, we'll move on to reps. So reps, for the most part, it's gonna go down, so it's gonna start off 12 to 20 for phase one, then we'll go eight to 12 for phase two, six to 12 for phase three, uh, one to five for phase four, and then phase five is a superset, like I said earlier. So the first one is a strength-focused exercise, which is gonna be one to five reps. And the second one is more an explosive exercise, so you're looking at eight to 10 reps there. The first three phases all have 12 reps going down with that first starting number, and then the last two phases have one to five reps there. All right, so now let's look at rest. For the most part, the rest is going to increase except after that phase one. So phase one, you're resting for zero to 90 seconds. Phase two and three, you're resting for zero to 60 seconds. Phase four, you're resting for two to four minutes. Phase four, ends in four. And then phase five, you're resting for three to five minutes. Phase five, end in five, three to five there. So that's for the rest. Then we'll go into the tempo. Tempos are easy. There's only three of them overall. First one being the easiest, it's going to be a slow tempo. It's going to be 4 2 one, one, and that's for phase one. Phase two is a superset, so we'll see two different exercises. So that strength focus exercise is going to be a moderate tempo, looking at 2 0, two, zero. And then that stability focus exercise is going to be the slow tempo, looking at that 4 2 one, one again. Then we move on to phase three, moderate tempo, 2 0, two, zero. And then lastly, phase four and five are going to be the same. It's gonna have a fast one, um, explosive tempo we're looking at here, X, 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 X. No time limit there, you just kind of move that weight as fast as possible. So that's for tempo. I wouldn't even worry about the tempos for the second phase, so just cross those out there. And then lastly, intensity, same thing overall. It's going to increase as we're going through phases. So phase one, 50 to 70%. Phase two, Technically, it has that superset again, so you're gonna have that strength focus exercise, 75 to 85%, and then that uh, stability focus exercise, 50 to 70%. Would not worry about that for phase two though at all, so just X that out, don't have to try and memorize that. Uh, phase three is gonna be 75 to 85%, phase four, 85 to 100%, and then phase five, just like phase two is a superset, so that first one is gonna be 85 to 100%, that maximal strength, and then the second one, the explosive one, that's really the one that I'm interested if you are taking that NASM CPT. It's either gonna be that 30 to 45% intensity or less than 10% of your body weight there. So those are the key acute variables that you're looking at when you're trying to pass the NASM CPT. So those are some tricks, hopefully it helps you guys memorize it, but this is just a little chunk of it. If you guys are trying to pass the NASM CPT or ACE or any other CPT, like I said, Subscribe to my channel so you can watch all the videos on there, but also get access to our guide and calls so you can ask us questions and better understand on how to pass it. And once you pass it, the biggest thing that I always get 
is that people are still confused on how to program. And that's why we're gonna help you pass as fast as possible. But more importantly, we're here for you guys to try and learn, realize the expectations, everything that takes to become a personal trainer. Programming, anatomy, sales, business, nutrition, everything. We're here for you guys. So we also have, like I mentioned earlier, our in-person in internships. Uh, here in La Jolla, California, as well as Santa Monica, West Hollywood, we are online, so if you can't come to us, don't worry, you can still learn at the comfort of your own home. And of course, if you cannot come to us, we will come to you. We have seminars occurring every month or so, so there's really no excuse for you guys not to show up. And before you go, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram at activeact7be, as well as show fitness, show fitness internship, we do have TikTok, same handles there. And you can also message me through my email at megan at showfitness.com. We are online, www.showfitness.com. And remember, all you guys gotta do is show up.